Hey guys, Luke here and I'm going to bring you a Fraps tutorial and this is going to be showing you how you can set Fraps up to record videos. Okay, so what you have to do is open up Fraps of course and uh, go to the general tab and if you want to record your desktop such as I am doing, put monitor error desktop DWM on, uh, like tick the box there. And then you can either start Fraps Minimized, Fraps Window is on top, or run Fraps Window and Windows Starts. So, run Fraps when Windows Starts is when you turn on your computer, um, it will load up straight away. Fraps Window always on top means like will stay here. And start Fraps Minimized is when you open it, it will minimize it down to your system tray. And then minimize to system tray only is when you're uh, recording. So nothing much on the actual recording on the first page. Go over to the FPS tab and you want to have a folder to save the benchmarks in. So at the minute mine is in my C drive in the Fraps folder and in the folder called benchmarks. And the benchmark and hotkey can be whatever you choose. Mine is F11 at the minute, but I rarely use benchmarking, if ever. The benchmarking settings can be the FPS frame times the min max average. I'd I'd say not to tick those to reduce the amount of lag you will have in the game, and then don't tick the stop benchmark after 30 seconds or whatever. Um, you also, if you want to see whether you are recording or not, um, choose overlay, hotkey, or like have, and then choose where you want the overlay to be, which corner, or to hide the overlay and not have any. So, and then only update overlay once a second, or it can just be like when it changes the frame or whatever. So that's pretty much all you have to do for the benchmark gang and the FPS. Now onto the actual recording bit now which is the movers tab first you need to have a folder to save the movers into mine is c drive fraps and folder movers so very simple um you need also a video capture hotkey so when you press the key on your keyboard it will start to record because that's the only way you can record with fraps you need to have a certain key and to change the key from where it is anyway, just click in and then type the key you want. So mine's print screen because I rarely use that. And uh, the video capture settings, if you want to have lit to FPS, go to the like I'd probably put it to 30 FPS. And if you don't want the file size to be that big, put it to half size. But half size also decreases the quality of the video. So I've got my 60 FPS and full size, so it's a 60 FPS. I think is almost like the max FPS you can have, and full size means that it's the full quality of the video as well as the full size. So every three minutes for me or something like that uh, is 3.95 gigabytes of space on my computer, and it per video per 12 minutes probably does 4 3.95 gigabytes which is about uh, 13 or 14 gigabytes per video but then I render that down in Camtasia Studio 7 or Vegas Pro 11 um, ok the loop buffer length I'd put to around 30 seconds ish and now for your sound capture settings so like if you want to have the windows 7 sound tick the box that says record windows 7 sound and click stereo stereo um because that will it's the one that will have the thing coming out of your speakers either of a headset or your actual speakers on your laptop or computer and then if you also want to do commentaries you want to tick the record external input and you want to put a external mic in oh, mine is called headset microphone microsoft live chat alex 3000 it's what i'm using now 
and literally or you I think the external input is also the built in mic as well. So you can take that if you want to do commentaries. Uh if you only want to use it when pushing a certain button, take this box but I always have it on. You can also take the hide mouse cursor in video. So take that on or off. Then you can lock the frame rate while recording which reduces the amount of lag and doesn't make your FPS overflow and just ruin the video by lagging itself out. So lock the frame rate to reduce the lag and then force lossless RGB capture. Don't take that because as you can see it says maybe slow which will increase the amount of lag in your video. Okay, that's all you need to do for the actual recording part, and then you've just got your screenshot, so screen capture hotkey, what the format of it is, so I'd choose PNG or JPG, and then screen capture sensors include frame rate overlay and screenshots don't, and repeat screen capture every 10 seconds until hotkey pressed again. You can take that if you want to, but I don't know. Up to you. So I hope this has helped and I will see you in my next video. Bye.